to me, if you are not vaccinated in the NFL and you or in any sport or just or, or any business that tells you that the rules of employment in this business are you must get vaccinated to get this X number of what's the word for it benefits of activities you can undertake as a member of the NFL, for instance. I'm going to stop generalizing. I'm just going to go straight to it here. The NFL came up with rules with the Players Association. Vaccinated players can do X, and then unvaccinated players cannot do X. They must do Y and Z. And Y and Z, not as great as X. Science-related, safety-related, and that was the way it is. For somebody to fake their vaccination card, like Antonio Brown and two others, Mike Edwards, a backup safety, and a free agent wide receiver, John Franklin III at the time, to go and fake it rather than take the shot and then not, and then go about your business is reprehensible, reprehensible behavior. Own it. Guys, own it. Own it. You don't want to get vaccinated. Own it. And then deal with the way that you have to deal with things. To go around the rules and then walk into a facility where your coach has been diagnosed throughout his life and dealt with three forms of cancer. Three. Bruce Arians, three forms of cancer, your head coach. And there's also a guy in Tom Moore who's 83 years of age. And you're walking around like you're vaccinated and you're not because you faked it. It's reprehensible behavior. Reprehensible. And I got to stop banging the table because the mic flag keeps falling off. (laughs) All right. It's reprehensible behavior. And I don't understand how this is fine with the Bucks. that in three weeks you'll just let Antonio Brown back in the building. And I don't have my head in the sand. I know he's supremely talented. And I know the quarterback and Tom Brady loves him. And, and he makes them a better football team. But they essentially won the Super Bowl last year without him being the top A.B. that we've we've seen and business booming A.B. before. But he said he was vaccinated and walked around the building. And he was not. And he also used Tom Brady's trainer, Alex Guerrero, as his dupe, handed him reportedly the vaccination card from Citrus County, Florida, population 150,000 people, apparently hour and a half away from Tampa, where he's, I I imagine, not really from. He used Tom Brady's trainer as his dupe. Here's my card. I'm going to loop your favorite guy, maybe on planet Earth, outside of your own family and teammates, Tom. He's my dupe. Here's my card. You're now roped into it if I get busted. And then I I don't understand how I don't compute it. And again, this is clearly personal preferences or freedom or whatever you want to talk about it, but the suspension is going to cost him $183,000 and change. The vaccine's free. And we found out about it because you didn't pay the chef 10 grand. Right. Just do the math. Does this money just not matter to him? <laughs> uh, uh, you know what I mean? Like, one will cost you $183,000 <laughs> and break the trust, maybe with your coaching staff and your teammates and your organization. One will do that. Another is you pay the guy who's pissed enough about it that he texts and tells everyone about it that you asked. For a fake vaccination card, that's ten grand, much less than that, hundred eighty-three thousand. 
Or the, the thing is, you take the vaccine and it's free. And then you can walk around as a vaccinated player, which clearly you wanted to do. And you don't put an 83-year-old person like Tom Moore at risk. Or your head coach, who's been, again, diagnosed with and treated for three forms of cancer. Three. I, I, I just don't understand how that's cool. How's that cool? How's that fine? Yeah, come on back. You served your suspension. That's fine. Let's go play football. Score touchdowns. Honestly. What do you think? 844 rich I'm happy to have that conversation. Really. Although, you know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't get it. But I speak from the heart, man. I speak from the gut. And, and, and uh, that's just the way I feel. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.